Hi guys, Mac here. So today I just want to quickly talk about the Office 2019 administrative templates. If you're interested in this sort of stuff, you'll see that Microsoft recently released some templates, which if you look, seem to support 365 and 2019 and 2016. Now there seems to be a bit of confusion around how you deploy and how you use them. So I thought I'd quickly show you. It is, it is actually pretty easy. I'll Put the link to this in the description but what i'm going to do is just download the 64-bit version of these templates that's all i've got in my lab if you want to do the 32-bit ones of course you can download those as well it works in exactly the same way so i'm just going to download that there we go now it's pretty easy to do i'm just going to find that download and i'm going to run it now it's going to ask us to extract some files so let's do that It'll ask me where I'm going to put it. Now I'm just going to put it on my desktop. So I'm going to create a new fold folder there. And there we go. So there are our files. Now I'm only interested in the ADMX files for now. So if we go into there, you can either select all of them or if you only want the English ones, for example, then just select those. I'm just going to select all of them just for the sake of this quick demo. And what we're going to do is copy them into the sysvol directory. So if you go into your Windows directory, you'll find sysvol. In there, you want to go into domain, policies, and we're going to create a new folder called policy definitions. So I'm going to go new folder, policy definitions. There we go. And what I'm going to do is just copy all those files into that, that directory. Now, if you've got multiple domain controllers, bear in mind this might take a little while to replicate, so just be aware of that. But now I've done that, when I fire up my group policy management, which is there, let me shrink that down a bit so we can see what we're doing. What you should see now, if we go in and edit our group policy, And the templates, there we go. Now you can see that all our office templates are there now. Now if we look under the user configuration, you'll see that you've got a lot more configuration options under the user. This is the bit that seems to be confusing people. Why can't I see Office 2019 in there? Because it says that the template's for 2019. Now this is pretty interesting because you need to look at the version numbers for Office. So this is from the Microsoft website and again I'll put the link to this down there. So which versions of Office work with Windows 10? Now look at the major Office versions here. So you'll see actually Office 2016, 2019 and the version that comes with Office 365 are all listed as the major version 16. When we apply these policies, it will work for Office 2019 as well. It's just a little bit confusing on the naming convention. But anyway, that's how you do it. It is pretty straightforward to do and it's for some reason it just seems far more complex than it needs to be. So, so hopefully you found that useful.